Hey guys, welcome to this week's episode of the Trip Trap Talk Show. This week we're talking with Matt DeCaro um, and some of his music in uh, the Mam Slaughter Band. We talk about uh, some of his escapades in the weird and mean sketch group and uh, some of the bad decisions he's gotten himself into, like some of the fights and scrapes, but we'll get into it. We, like, we also talk about um, how he always likes to fuck with people and uh, the general likes and dislikes of the supermarkets. Do you really like the supermarket? We'll find out. We talk about some of his hijinks, why we like being lazy, and why he doesn't do sketches anymore. We talk about how he misses being sad and just the general fuel he needs for creativity. And we also talk about how he's on tour with a rapper and a naked amputee, and what his parents really think of his music career and his ad lib trap banger. So this is a doozy of an episode, so stay tuned. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. I took a road trip with a bunch of comedians to go play at a grief retreat, um, and then I wrote a song. Great. I was driving in Rhode Island, talking about funny shit that happened, like when I got throat slammed by a marine. Apparently one of my friends said fuck the troops Ugh. So I spent the rest of that night on the lawn Gripping a baseball bat wearing chiffon Swapping car stories of all the times we've been hurt Physically and emotionally So I told that story first I heard someone say there would be no more bad days And I heard someone scream Help, I'm trapped in a car with maniacs like me I was smoking a cigarette In a small town in Massachusetts Trying not to get bit by a dog Walking down the street with no sidewalk And I drank my coffee in a jacuzzi Man, it felt like a movie But if it was a movie, I'd have a better body All I need in the morning is coffee and a little bit of head And I heard someone say Days. And I heard someone scream Help, I'm trapped in a car with maniacs like me I woke up in my friend's brother's bed From a text message that read Happy birthday, baby, I love you From the girl I dedicated my first album to but it's not my birthday and we don't talk Next message said, oh my god, wrong Matt So I texted back, tell Matt happy birthday too <sighs> And I heard someone say there will be no more bad days And I heard someone scream I'm trapped in a car with maniacs like me. <laughs> yeah. We're good? Yep. Yeah. Welcome back to another episode of the Trip Trap Talk Show. This week we have special guest Matt DeCaro. All hello, the way. hello. <laughs> How's so, it going, wait, Matt? <laughs> Say hi. No, it's <laughs> the intro's over. It's not it's not the intro's late. over. Okay, yeah, great. How'd I do? Now. You're doing okay. great. Hey, man. hello. <laughs> so, Matt, um, what what, you, what got you started in music? Oh, um, I started in music because I wanted to, you know, be cool. I wanted to be a real cool guy. So, are you cool now? Uh, no, it was a mistake. <laughs> uh, this, I, I, I solved nothing. Um, was music the definition of cute, of cool to you? I, I I think so, right? You know, like people in bands are cool. Yeah. Uh, I I popped two collars on my polo in seventh grade, and I thought I should learn guitar. <laughs> that makes Damn. sense. 
Yeah, it's only it goes hand in hand. I had I, had, I couldn't get to a boat, so I thought acoustic guitar. <laughs> Perfect. Stunning. Um, so I heard you were in a band before called Mam Slaughter. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I was I was I got uh, I was the screamer for a band called Mam Slaughter. Uh, I was kicked out of that band. For um, what? They wanted to do a uh, really like. You know, classic screamo, mm -hmm. and I uh, only wanted to scream one phrase and then loop it on a pedal and then scream in harmony. Um, nice. And they were not into that. And I got kicked out of that band by the bassist. It was like back when like you could screw up texting yeah. somebody, mm -hmm. like like you texted the wrong person. Now I feel like it's too hard to do that. But before it was it was like that, and like it is I got this hard text. to like text the wrong person now, right? But like before, it was like it happened all the time. I don't know what changed. Technology. Oh, I guess so. But yeah, the drummer, uh, uh, the bassist, tech, meant to text the drummer and was like, "Yo, did you tell Maddie D's out of the band yet?" <laughs> <laughs> um, oh and then I God. just called him and I was like, "Yo, man, you texted me that." <laughs> and he was like, "Oh shit, that would happen to me." <laughs> I was like, Tight, man. Yeah, you're out of the band. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so cool. We're still cool, though. <laughs> Wait, I'm curious. What were those phrases? Oh, um, the one I wanted... I, I just kept saying, follow me down. I've got room at home. It's nonsense. <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> I have no like, idea. It's not supposed to mean anything. It's supposed no. to mean from the heart. Uh, uh, it's true. Yeah, it was, just, it was just gibberish. But I, I really wanted to do just that. Wait, so was it called... Man slaughter or ma'am slaughter? I, I didn't get it. Like, it's ma'am slaughter. Ma'am, as like in a, like, like a like, lady. Like thank you, ma'am. Yes, as in uh, <laughs> what a poor name of a band. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> oh god. Cool. cool yeah, still really sold out on that thing. <clears throat> and you're also a uh, or you're the president of a sketch group, right? Uh, it was. Uh, the Bureau, we did sketch, stand-up, and improv. Uh, I like that were Weird and Mean. It was great. Weird and Mean? Like, can you give us an example? Yeah, there was like, like you know, at, at Maryland, there's like a couple different comedy groups. Yeah. yeah. Um, ours was the Weird and Mean one. Uh, we would go to the other group's shows and sit in the back and just drink uh, and just heckle them. <laughs> I went to one of their, um, I only found this out later, but I went to one of their, like, the other group's parties, um, and I showed up, grabbed a beer out of the fridge, ground, and screamed, I can do whatever I want. Uh, <laughs> Were you blacked? Which is pretty shitty. Um, but that was our uh, group mentality. I mean... Or maybe just mine. <laughs> if you're getting philosophical, you can do whatever you want. That's true. Like... You, but, you, you may get stopped by something, but you can do whatever you want. But there are consequences. Yeah. yeah but you can still do whatever you want. So do it. Yeah, this is a, this is a good... I was making a philosophical point. Uh, <laughs> I mean, screaming in this house I wouldn't belong in. <laughs> I mean, does that follow your morals? Do you My do that morals. on a regular night? What? Would you do that on a regular night? No. <laughs> that, 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 that was so night. stupid. <laughs> Um, yeah, I just really didn't like this other group. I didn't think they were funny. Um, and I, I thought I should do this to get back at them somehow. At their own I, house party? At their own. I, yeah, I've since <laughs> mellowed out. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Yeah, it seems like from listening to your music, you have you do a lot of things you regret when you're drunk. Yes, that is a, a, a common thing. A motif, I would call it. Huh? Um, so, how do you keep on getting into these fights? Um, I just, I say a lot of shit. Like, uh, it's like if I, I like, there's just like sometimes where somebody says something and then I have no control over my response. Like, I was at a show and it was like the show was like a, a memorial show and there was like feedback from the microphone and this guy was like, uh, hey, if you don't want any feedback, uh, get farther away from the mic. And I was like, here's some feedback. Shut the fuck up. And I was like, why do I say this? Um, I mean, it's funny. It's funny. Uh, it just comes at a cost. 
<laughs> so uh, when the other person wants to hit me, I'm like, okay, cool, let's do that. Do you and, win a lot of these fights? No, <laughs> I get, I get. Uh, no, I mean the, the song that I, I, I think you're referring to is really this. This guy was like, "Hey, you want to take this outside?" And I said, "Yeah, sure." <laughs> <laughs> Uh, then I just got roasted, and I was like, oh shit, I gotta run back into the bar, somehow that'll be protection. It wasn't. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it's just dumb. Um, is that story about the anarchist bar true? Everything is uh, true. C- can you go over that story a little bit? Sure. Um, uh, it's a, a song about my tattoo artist, uh, who's a lovely, uh, woman, and, uh, we went to uh, this anarchist bar, uh, which we didn't know was an anarchist bar in Queens. Um, and uh, we immediately were like, oh, we shouldn't be here. Um, but we stayed. Uh, and then we just kept badgering the bartender to play the cha-cha slide because we thought that would be funny. <laughs> um, and uh, he finally did because I told them that I, was, I just got engaged to my tattoo artist. Uh, and that was our wedding song. And uh, so we're doing the cha cha slide in this fucking bar. Uh, it's me, my tattoo artist, my and like one of my other stupid friends. Uh, and then these guys just hate it. And then they turn it off and they put on this like propaganda, like, like that kind of song. Um, and then I say, this is this is when I have I, I'm an idiot and I have no control over my voice. I say, oh, I love this song. I fuck to it all the time. <laughs> <laughs> and the guy's like, what did you say? And I was like, oh, I love this song. I fuck to it all the time. Oh, man. Should and not have he was like, you want to go outside? And I was like, yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah, sure. Did he actually ask you about like the Yelp review? Yes. Um, oh yeah, so this guy kicks my ass outside, I jump back inside, then, um, the, like, the bartender gets around, like, off the bar and, like, starts going after me, and my friend starts fighting the bartender, and it's, like, it's crazy, I'm, like, I'm, like, like, I've been in small scuffles, but I'm, like, I'm in a bar brawl, I was, like, this isn't my thing, <laughs> um, I was, like, I just, I just narrate too much, I don't actually, ugh, whatever, um, so I'm getting my ass roasted. Uh, and then like everybody kind of like goes into their different corners of the bar. It's like three or four in the morning. It's way too fucking late. Um, and, uh, I like the bartender. I was like, all right, man, what are you going to do? Are you going to kick me out? Are you going to kick that guy out? And he's like, well, like that guy's a regular. And I was like, okay, well, uh, sure. And then they tell me I have to leave. And then as I'm leaving, he's like, Hey, um, can you not write a bad Yelp review? (laughs) And I was like, no fucking way. Um, And I told my friend the story, and uh, he instead wrote a good Yelp review about this place, gave him five stars, said, love, great beer, didn't expect to see a brawl. Uh, That was a nice treat. (laughs) 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 But no truffle fries. Would come back, though. (laughs) While we're on the topic of you getting punched... Um, how did you uh-huh. get punched in the face on a bus? Oh, okay. Um, I, I, you're like really like making me realize I talk a lot about uh, getting my ass kicked. Maybe I think <laughs> it's interesting. Um, I got, it is interesting, uh, yeah. I got punched on the bus at University of Maryland. Um, I was <laughs> oh, on great. the bus, and I'm like staring off into space. And then I realized that this, like, I'm looking at this guy. I didn't, I, I realized that I'm just staring. Um, and he looks at me and he goes, hey, stop looking at me. I was like, what? And he goes, stop looking at me, you faggot. <laughs> okay. And I'm like, no. <laughs> oh, my God. I would have stopped, but I was like, oh, you homophobic piece of shit. No. And so he's screaming at me, he's like, stop looking at me, you faggot. And like all of his friends are yelling at me and they, are, they start chanting suspect, which I didn't know what meant, but my bro friend told me like, it's, it's someone they suspect of being gay. I don't understand. Um, and so he just kept saying, stop looking at me. And I kept saying no. I just kept staring at this guy. Then he punched me in the face and I did not stop staring. I just, <laughs> I just, took, it. Like, I just took it. Straight up staring um, at that fist. Yeah, I really fucked with this guy. Um, and then I, he, they all got off the bus and said, you're crazy. And when I got off the bus, I just started laughing. I was like, oh, how fun was that? Wait, but were you initially looking at him? 
I, I wasn't, I wouldn't, I mean, I guess technically, yes, but I wasn't, I didn't mean to. I was just kind of looking, like, like you spaced know, forward. Out. I don't know, because, like, just in my head, I was like, this guy just spazzes out thinking anyone was looking at him. He's like, hey, stop looking at me. It's like, like, it sounds like this guy was in the closet. I mean, yeah, that was like, yeah, I think like something you, would, yeah, yeah he, he was had like, a little crush. Yeah. Take out some aggression. And I was like, yeah, man, I'm down. As he was, like, punching your face, he was like, damn. <laughs> I mean, he's definitely Damn, I don't in want to denial. Up his face. <laughs> so, are you? What was I gonna say? Like, are you always just fucking with people then? A lot of the time. Uh, I, I, th- I think it's interesting, but like sometimes it goes really well, and I make new friends. But Wait, if you give me a window, I, I probably will fuck with you. <laughs> I mean, it makes life more interesting. Yeah, I guess. Honestly. Yeah, and you get some interesting responses like that. But I get you. I bet you get more positive responses when you fuck with people. Um, I think in New York, more yes. So I think everyone's a character and they're like down. Um, but I think more in Maryland, n- no. Everyone's down to get fucked with in New York. Is what you're saying? I think I think they're down to play. You know. I thought they were harder in New York. Tough guys. Yeah. You know, yeah, but like, like tough guys. <laughs> you can like break somebody like you know, yeah. <laughs> you can like break somebody's balls, uh, an expression I've seen in a movie. Um <laughs> and then they'll like they'll like, oh yeah, we busted my balls. Oh sorry, I'm just thinking of the Sopranos. Maybe this is <laughs> <laughs> I retract my last statement. I don't have enough information to back up that claim. So, if I don't understand it's correct, if if you can break their balls, like if if you can, they're down. Oh, sorry. Continue. If you it, yeah, break, if you can if you can, break, if you can metaphorically bust their balls. Yes, you're down. And if they're like, "Oh, are you busting my balls?" <laughs> and then you go, "Yeah, I'm busting your balls," and then they'll bust your balls back. And you guys have reached agreement. Yeah. That, that you guys can both bust each other's balls. We're just two ball busters. <laughs> gotcha. Sounds very intimate. Down. <laughs> yeah, and then I'm like, yeah, let me get half ground pork, half ground veal. Thank you so much. I'm making meatballs. You guys, so, you guys go to the deli? You guys go yeah, to the meat, yeah, meat not, man? Not really. Butcher? No. Mm. It's fun. Butchers are fun. You fuck with butchers too. Um, I, last time I went to a butcher, last time I went to a butchery, um, I was with my brother and we were cleaning out my brother's home and I found a bunch of temporary tattoos from my sister-in-law's bachelorette party. Um, so I had like I put a temporary gold temporary tattoo on my neck that said like, like this bride's bitch. Um, and my brother was like do not do this and I was like it'll be fine um, and then I went to the pork, the pork store and uh, I, don't, I don't remember this guy started breaking my balls first I think I had like some specific order well, you're and asking he's like, for he's like, what are you what are you ordering like my wife <laughs> and I said no but I'm, uh, I'm making meatballs and I'll make her some extra and he's like oh <laughs> My life like this stupid glittery gold neck tattoo. <laughs> oh, so that one went well. He liked that. We went back and forth. Acted like, I guess he is an old man, but I acted like an old man, you know? I think that's a great response, a great exchange. A great, yeah, it was good. A great showcase of humanity. Yeah, that <laughs> philosophy, uh, again, coming in there. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? I yawned. Uh, I'm in bed. Uh, that sounds comfortable. Bed. Well, he's hunched over. Yeah, I am hunched. Oh, for all the listeners out there, know that I'm uncomfortable in my seating position. Good. Sometimes you gotta be uncomfortable. Yeah. Yeah. Get out of your comfort zone. I keep doing to people. (laughs) (laughs) You guys go to supermarkets? Yeah. 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 I need food. I I definitely need to eat, so... Yeah, you like you like supermarkets. Yeah. No, actually. Don't. Hot take. <laughs> well, more on that. Why not, you like not really, because like you, you go just to get one thing, right? 
No, you go to get multiple. Probably no. Right. You don't. I mean, you go to get specific things. How about that, Teddy? Okay, yeah. You know, if you want well, to you, get you have a list? technical about it, you go to get specific things. But then you get attracted by the glitter and gold, like the fucking donuts. <laughs> <laughs> like the empty donut box on your desk. Oh, catching. Is that what you're talking about? Yes. That's exactly what I'm talking about. Find supermarket donuts. Ugh. Dude, I saw. A, I was at the supermarket today and I saw a donut with. Fro- oh, wait, no. Fruity pebbles on it. That's Fruity too much. Fruity pebbles and chocolate frosting. That's too much, man. So like, Diabetes. That doesn't look good. Was it? How expensive was that? I don't know. I'm assuming 69 <coughs> cents. Oh, wow. I, was, I thought it would be way more. Nope. <laughs> I thought it would be at least $4.20. Daddy. Gank ass nugs blazes. <laughs> Maybe it was on sale. But, I mean, have you ever been in the supermarket high? That's, that a, place dang- is that's like, a dangerous mission. Dude, yeah. it's so nice. Because then you're just like walking down the aisles, like imagining all this food. I just feel like and like have, what it tastes like. You have the like uh, super cheery uh, mall music in the background while you're like walking around. like that, like, And everything's like organized by color. And you're like, oh, yeah, those apples should go next to those pears. How did I say pears? Pears. I think I've only been to Walmart high. How was that? Walmart's a weird place, man. How was that, Teddy? So, I went to get tea at like 12 at night. Tea with Teddy? Yeah, because I need tea. Tea with Teddy at 12. And that place was fucking packed. Everyone was there with their kids, like grocery shopping, buying clothes and stuff. Place is lit. When did you go? Hmm? When did you go? Like, time? Like, during winter break? Okay. Sometime. I don't know, I was thinking like maybe it was like back to school time or something. No. That's weird. Yo, I got kicked out of a Walmart once. <laughs> How did that happen? Kicked out. I, I dressed up as a hot dog. I went into the hot dog section and I laid down. And then my friend screamed, we released him back into the wild. <laughs> <laughs> and I got kicked out. <laughs> and I said, you're not wrong, employees. I can't do this. <laughs> So Damn, are these like my life? I guess this is all I do. So, did you get into like a bunch of shenanigans when you were younger, or I guess yeah. now still? Um, yeah, I think I got my taste for it when I was younger. Um, I just I just wrote a new song that's like, uh, it was for a show called "The Roast of Your Fifteen Year Old Self." Oh, um, that sounds great. It's a really cool show, uh, and it was all about all the dumb shit I did when I was younger. Um, you saw me, like, you, had, you know, I grew up next to a mall, so, like, you just go to the mall to try to get kicked out. Oh, That's yeah. pretty standard, right? Yeah. I mean, I did that in department stores. And yeah. We played tag in Target. That was really fun. Tag in Target. That sounds Target fun. Tag. Target tag. Did you, were you running in the yeah, Target? Yeah, for sure. Mm. Like, full speed. <laughs> <laughs> you have, like, a when was the last time you ran? Do you guys run? I ran uh, Thanksgiving. I ran the, on the treadmill a little bit. On the treadmill. Yeah. Trying to run a lot. But yeah, no one really runs anymore. Yeah. At least not like normal day to day stuff. If someone's running, something's wrong. <laughs> yeah. If you're not if you're not dressed to be running and you're running, you're freaking me out. Or you're late yeah, to yeah. class. That's yeah. usually what happens. If you're not on a college campus, yes. Yeah, that's... Oh, that's true. Yeah. Nah man, just walk. Screw it. Nah, if you see someone running now in regular clothes, you're not on a college campus and you're like past the age of like twenty three. Yeah, that's that's pro- like not not to be an so, alarm. That's probably a shooting somewhere. I'm just, oh jeez! Like, I'm, I'm just saying, like it's probably something like that. Like uh, your go-to disaster is a shooting. I mean, I mean look at the news. Shit, <laughs> they're like, out here. But it's just one guy. Multiple people. Multiple, okay, yeah, it's multiple people. I see what you're saying, but it's like one dude. One know. guy. Why would one guy just be running? And they're not late for the bus. The bus is out of the equation here. Um, maybe he's like, no. You if you have to go to the bathroom, you don't run. I was about to say like he's running outside. Yeah, you kind of like the really like quickly to get home. Walk. He's got to get home. In downtown. Maybe his house is on fire. <laughs> he has to get home. He can save his 
heirlooms. <laughs> his heirlooms. Maybe my he heirlooms. His man has to save his heirlooms. Maybe he's oh. drunk. He's drunk and he's trying to get home hey, quicker because it's one, cold outside. You're just contradicting yourself. If you're drunk running, you're not going to run coordinated. You're going to fall. That's not true. I, mm. I ran home from a frat party we're like talking a mile and a half. Running, and I felt great. Like, we're talking full speed running I'm, here. Like sprinting? If you're, if you're not, yes. I wouldn't be sprinting. There's no in your regular clothes. Ever. Yeah, no one sprints anymore. That's it's wild. Because everyone's too much. lazy now. Let's talk about how everyone's lazy now. Kids these days. <laughs> always on their <laughs> cell phones. Dude, we've you been know? lazy. Yeah. That's the whole purpose of technology. To be lazy. Yeah, oh, except yeah, yeah. when they made the Wii, tried to trick you. <laughs> didn't work. But then you can just <laughs> sit on the work. couch and work. Wii sucks. <laughs> <laughs> just sit on the couch and wave that shit. It's like it's the yeah, same I'll thing. Go bowling. Yeah, you can do that on the couch. <laughs> oh yeah, you could just like. <laughs> yeah, I'll just flick the remote for baseball. Mm -hmm. Like, what you were a cheater, Sean? Because it worked, bro. There's no cheating in Wii. But you gotta get into it. Like, that's what, the what about thing. the fitness, Sean? What about the fitness, bro? <laughs> just doing the fitness game on the couch. Dude, <laughs> video games I'm aren't for fitness. It's just like... <laughs> I'm fit as shit. I'm playing Wii. Just go play basketball. You're probably like... <laughs> that means I have to go outside. <laughs> I'm getting my daily exercise. I'm <laughs> Wii fit. Yeah. Doing my Wii eating, fit. Eating uh, beef jerky and doing Wii fit. <laughs> yeah, man. Using that protein, right? Yeah. Gotta burn it off. I'm gonna have fat wrists. <laughs> what? I don't, I don't know if that's a good thing. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. <laughs> you, want, you want thin wrists. Yeah, I got some pretty thin wrists. Is. That's what the girls like. Yeah, you want to be able to hold your wrist easily. <laughs> For handcuffs. When was the last time you guys held a hand? You guys hold a hand? You have someone to hold, hold a hand um, with? I held a hand a couple weeks ago. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, Why? <laughs> um, Do you not like holding hands? No, no time for holding hands. Really? I'm gonna wild. lose a hand. That's wild. I need both hands just in case. Hey man, it's comforting. It's nice. But, were you um, walking or are you on the couch? Yeah, we were walking. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. That, that, that is nice. Yeah. I mean, I'm no longer seeing this person, but it was a good. Oh. It was uh, a nice time. It was nice. Look back fondly on the hand holding. Yeah, I mean, that was probably the best part. Just remember that hand. Was it hand. autumn? Was it a nice <laughs> autumn day? No, it was cold as fuck. Oh my god. Were you wearing gloves? No, dude. Dude. <laughs> Bare dude. hand? That's insane. You could have put your hand in your pocket, and instead, it's exposed. It was sacrifice. I mean, I That's eventually wild. did that. Like, fuck that. After a while, I was like, all right, fuck this. I can't do it no more. <laughs> let Let's link arms. Just like, get away from Link arms is like too cumbersome. That's like, right, linking too arms? Yeah, I mean, what if well, you can play Red Rover against another couple? <laughs> <It's> just, <laughs> Red Rover, Red Rover. <laughs> down with that shit. <laughs> Should write some of these ideas down. They're all million dollar ideas. Yeah. So do, yeah. You, do you do a lot of sketches still? No, I don't. I don't like, mm, I don't, I'm in a sketch group. I'm in a monthly sketch group and I just play music now. And I like it this way. Um, what change? I feel, I get super anxious when I'm responsible for making somebody else's vision funny. Uh -huh. Why do you say <clears throat> that? Um, I don't want to fuck it up. Like, I do everything by myself now where it's like, I, like, like I can like, you know, fail or succeed on my own, but, like, what if you wrote this really funny thing and then I didn't deliver it correctly, then you don't, you didn't succeed and I was the reason. So okay. it stresses me out. Mm -hmm. I see. Like, so you want to yeah. be the one true source of, like, either success or failure, but you want to know that. It's just easier. It's just you. Yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't want to let them down. And, like, then I'll just be in my head about it. I'm like, oh, like, ugh. But... What I do now, I'm like, oh yeah, it's just me. Well, would you write your own sketches then? Um, yeah, maybe. I mean, like that one in, with the hot dog. Yeah, that's that yeah. hilarious. That was pretty funny. 
Yeah. But now I just like I just take that and I, I just threw it into a song. Like so I just take all these little quips and I'm like, let me pigeonhole this into here. So, I mean, did you always know you were gonna go into like kind of comedic music? Um, well, I used to just do stand up. Like I, I moved to New York to do stand up. <laughs> um and then I wasn't that funny. Um <laughs> Or, or rather, like, my shit was really sad, and I liked that, and I wanted to make the audience, like, deal with it. Um, and I was like, oh, people aren't responding that well to this. But it seems like the, like, black comedy, like, depre- like deprecating humor stuff has been going pretty well. Oh, yeah. I, I just think I did it wrong. <laughs> you were too, too sad. You were yeah, you unbalanced. Too, too down. Yeah, I just, I didn't have the formula right when it was just me speaking, and then I was like, oh, if I take that one line and repeat it, uh, and then force the audience to sing along with it, they'll like it. And how's that working? I think. It's, it's actually working pretty good. And also, like, I miss being in, like, a band and um, playing music, so I was like, let me just smash these two together. Um, and that's what I do now. I like it. I think I like it. Yeah, it's I good like to it. live a stress-free life. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, oh, I mean, no, I'm probably not, not stress free. Well, uh, stress <laughs> lot more stress free than what it was before. Yes, yes, I do feel like myself on stage. It's like the go. only time I feel like I'm being in, like truly honest. And how does the audience react usually? <clears throat> um, depending on what style of show it is, uh, I'll get at least a couple people to cry a show, oh. uh, which is nice. Like a uh, laughing cry or sad cry? No, like a, which is like funny at a comedy show. Yeah. And I'm like, why? I'm like, why are you crying? We're at a comedy show. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then that usually they laugh after that. If I try to make it okay, nice. like, it's okay. You can cry during my set. This shit is sad. <laughs> yeah, facts. Like, so, I mean, you said you broke up with your girlfriend to be more sad yes and make you funnier yes like how do you feel about that decision oh um pretty bad i feel pretty bad about that uh and it kind of it's like sent me down a spiral and i made all of this music i mean music comes from that sadness though a lot of the time yeah and i i missed being sad I like I used to be funnier and then I got happy and that was nice but I wasn't that funny and then I became a monster so uh, you know probably some middle area I should have done but I mean life's life's tricky bro I know it is I'm like yeah I'm like that part of my life has just resurfaced again so I'm like oh boy did I make the right decision I don't know but, I mean, your music's doing pretty well. Yeah. So yeah, I guess at so. least I have have these songs. Is like something that keeps bouncing in my head. And a lot of people can relate to sadness. And oh, it doesn't yeah. get talked about, like, in normal day-to-day shit. You, you yeah, set out what you, what you meant real to do, talk. Right? Yeah. Like, uh, you broke up to get sadder and make good music, and now uh, yeah, that's, that's exactly what you did. <laughs> yeah. Good strat. <laughs> she doesn't hate it. I just found out she doesn't hate that I did all of this. So that's she was like, I kind of figured you'd do something like this. And Baby like, steps. Okay. Nice. Baby steps. Oh my god, I just texted her that the other day. <laughs> <laughs> um, girl, you listening? I bet you're not. Um, just kidding. She definitely is. No, she's not. Oh, do you like that I'm talking about you right now? No, you don't. Okay, uh, next question. <laughs> Um, uh, I've heard that uh, you can really commit to a bit. Do you have any like examples of that? Um, did I already tell you that I dressed up as a hot dog and I laid down in yeah, the hot yes. dog section? <laughs> that, that is commitment, yeah. Any other um, examples? Oh, okay, let me think. Uh, commit to a bit. I do love that phrase, too. Commit to a bit. Um, you could do a little sketch Oh, show here's a fun it. one, I guess. Uh, so... I work... Oh, fuck. Somebody's at my door. Oh, it's the soup dumpling guy. Oh, Jesus. 
Um, Dude, bring him on okay, the show. I got I got to let him the soup dumpling guy real quick. <laughs> Yo, yeah. bring him on the show. Like, okay, I'll bring him on the show. Give me a second. It's it's going off the fucking. Okay. Yeah, it's cool. Okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah. okay. Give me tw- give me thirty seconds, and then I'll tell the thing I was gonna say. I can't hear you. I'm taking my shit out. Okay. Okay, so we have an intermission right now. Hi. I guess this. <laughs> I think he's using Uber Eats. He's gotta get soup dumplings or a GrubHub. What? <laughs> yeah, I'm just wondering. Yeah. I wonder if we'll actually get to hear this guy. Which what if he's just what? like? I wonder what he's like. What if he's just like Chinese? He doesn't speak any English. Why did you assume he's Chinese, Sean? Huh? It's soup dumplings. Yeah. We can hear him right now. You can hear him. He definitely out. sounds like he has an accent. <laughs> we'll find out. Hey man. Oh, no, right? does, okay, does Grubhub or Uber Eats have hey, what's any up? advantage? Oh, hey, what's up? What did I miss? Oh, we were just you, talking about. Um, you thought it was. A, you thought it was. A, yeah, I thought it was gonna be the guy. The delivery guy. <laughs> yeah. So, did you ask him? What? The delivery guy? No, it's my friend who I'm making soup dumplings with. Oh, uh, I thought it was. Oh, okay. That makes more sense. Yeah, and then I let the doorbell ring a million times because I was telling you about the soup dumpling guy, and then my neighbor. <laughs> sticks their hat out and go, you can't answer the door. That thing's been ringing so long and it's so loud. And I said, it'll be fine. <laughs> um, and then I screamed, I'm doing a talk show, Brian. Come let yourself in. Um, Brian, can you, can you check this soup? I've been boiling it for an hour, but I haven't been next to it. An hour? Looks good? Okay. Hey, great. Is it similar? Okay. All right. Love you. Aw. Um... You too, Brian. <laughs> Can you hear Brian doing, like, you know, scuffling his feet? No. 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 Not at okay, all. good. All right. Wait, boil soup for an hour? Soup can take it. Well, I'm, I'm making broth. Oh, okay. Yeah. I woke up and wanted broth. That's oh, commit to a bit. You want to go back to that? Yeah. <laughs> sure. Um, here's a good commit to the bit. Um... I work as an assistant director for uh, the Food Network and the Travel Channel. Oh. Wow. Um, it's good. It's pretty fun. Nice. And, you get good uh, food? I, what? Do you, get, do you get good food? I do. Um, all of those like competition shows, uh, the crew gets the rest of the pantry. Oh, oh damn. Yeah, which is so, tight. I would love that. Do you feel good. even worse then when you're just eating like beef jerky? Because you know what, how uh, good yeah, food can knowing be. Knowing... I, I have access to much better things. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, so uh, uh, when I first started five years ago, uh, I was working with someone who was like, what's your name? And I was like, Matt. And like, we have too many Matts. Um, uh, I'm going to call you Cosmo because you remind me of Kramer. And I said, okay. <laughs> um, and then I kept it. Um, everybody knows me as Cosmo. For five years, these celebrities know me as Cosmo. No one knows my real name. Some do if we're friends outside. My email is Cosmo. My ID is Cosmo. Uh, I live two lives, and I've labeled them. I mean, is Cosmo any different from Matt? Yes. Cosmo's never sad. Cosmo gets paid to entertain everybody and keep the crew going. Um one time this guy was like this like camera operator was like hey Cosmo like are you, like are you like do you ever get like like you know like you ever sad immediately after I leave this place but you're not paying me to be sad so uh well let's have a good show <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so yeah have you, I'm have like you a, I'm a cartoon cart- Cosmo's a cartoon yeah uh, and it's easier that way like fairly odd parents yeah yes I get right. that a lot and I imagine if my name was actually Cosmo, I'd lose my mind. But uh, now if I go to a Starbucks and they're like, Cosmo, where's Wanda? And I'm like, this uh, is still fun. Uh, <laughs> that's fun. So have yeah. you ever thought about like starting a second music career as Cosmo? Um, so, uh, I, yeah, uh, I have thought about it. So that's... That's something where people are like, oh, your work name is Cosmo DeCaro and your stage name is Matt DeCaro. One of those has a better ring. And I'm like, I know. Um, but it felt weird to, uh, like, all my music is so honest to go by a different name. But I mean, does that make sense? Yeah. yeah. 
Hmm? But you could create like this entire identity. You wouldn't be limited by reality if you were a cosmo. That's true. I wouldn't have to say anything real if I went as cosmo. I mean, it would be like two separate things. Cosmo is representative of the cosmos. So yeah, I can just do space, space punk music, right? You know, uh, you would have, is that a genre? Uh, a punk band. Space it's been great. Space it is now. With Neil space Tyson. rock. A lot of theremins in that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Theremin breakdown. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds cool. Do you only play acoustic guitar? <clears throat> I'll play electric in my bedroom, and I play saxophone. Ooh. Whoa. That sounds nice. I mean, yeah, it is nice. Do you, I have, uh, um, do you have any plans to like uh, incorporate that more? Saxophone. So I have uh, uh, an album out that I've never publicly said I released um, called Cookbook. And uh, me and my friend made this album where it's dream pop music, but all the lyrics are just recipes. <laughs> um, but you can't really understand me because, like, you know how that style of music is. It's like, yeah. Um, so, like, so I have some sax solos in that. Damn, you should bring. You should randomly bring a sax out on one of your sets. Yeah, yeah. I think I should. People are always surprised that I can play it, and I'm like, everybody picked an instrument as a child. I just picked the saxophone. I mean, it's a sexy instrument, man. Sax, yeah, man. I was a smart fourth grader. You think about the long term. Mm -hmm. Did you guys play an instrument as a child? Um, piano for me. I played the violin. Drums. Nice. And you got bass, band. right? Uh, you guys in a band? In, like teenage years. Um, well, these two guys uh, make beats. Hell yeah! Do you say the phrase "I make beats"? Yes, I do, and they all think the food. Really? Yeah, when I tell my parents, I'm like, yeah, I mean. <laughs> really? I, well, I'll say like hip hop instrumentals. That's all I'll say now. So I say when you, Ooh, said, like, so when you said I make beats, they were they thought they think you like the food. grew you grew There's, beats. They get so confused. They thought you grew beets. Yes. The, the vegetables. Yes. That's great. Yeah, I, your, your parents are so wholesome. I, I love it. Hey man, for hip hop country. instrumentals is only like a YouTube channel, you know. Yeah, it's not a genre. Yeah. But, like, to old people. Like, if I'm <laughs> yeah. talking to, like, some of my age, I'll say beats. But, like, to old people, I have to <laughs> say that. Beats. Hip hop <laughs> instrumentals. Oh, Ooh, like, that's what I have on my resume. resume. When is your harvest coming in? Well, you have beats on your resume or you have hip hop instrumentals? <laughs> hip hop instrumentals. Because I, I made sales on them, so. Yeah. Yes, it's true. Oh, yeah? Business. How much the beat go for? Uh, so you can get an MP3 lease for $10. You can get a wave right. lease for $20. You can get a, the track stems for thirty dollars. Nice. Why is the wave more money than the MP3? Because it's better quality. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. And those all have contracting stuff about how many times it can be streamed and stuff. I'm probably not gonna follow that. You probably follow that. <laughs> probably should. Yeah. Will you get sued? What? Or I wouldn't something? get sued. They would get sued. Oh, okay. Yeah. Damn, that's cool. So it doesn't matter for you, Teddy. Doesn't. Liability free. Mm -hmm. um, when did you start making money from your music? Oh, I mm, not very much, um, but you know, I make money off of I don't know, like all my streaming stuff. I'll make some money a month, and then I went on a nationwide tour uh, this summer. I flew out to LA and then drove back. Yeah, how was that? Um, it was awesome. It was the best use of my time. Um, it was me and a rapper, uh, and this other guy who's a, I, I describe him as a, a folk positive artist, where what? he like his name's Asa Martin. Uh, he has one positive. leg. Yeah, uh, he has. Yeah, he's like he got his, his leg amputated. So uh, when he plays music, he goes like he's like I've always hated my body, um, so I'm gonna take it back, and he just plays just in his underwear with this one metal leg and does all these really like encouraging folk songs. It's great. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> what? It's quite the show. Yeah. It is. We were quite the spectacle. Yeah. Do you guys just like, where, where, what are like the venues you play at? Um, we, it was all over the place. Um, just because our, our bill was so strange. It was like me and then a rapper and then this guy. Um, so we did like, like, ranging from, like, 
tea shops in LA to like punk garages in Albuquerque. Um, you know, like I just like would try to find a place that like does music and comedy like on different nights, and I'd be like, oh, cool. How about we do this here and combine it? Um, but like we did like some like comedy venues, and then like we even like in Chicago, like one of our house shows fell through, so we just rented an Airbnb and threw a show in the Airbnb. Are you allowed to do that? No, I don't know. <laughs> he did. It was fine. We needed to do our laundry anyway, so. I mean, how'd you, you how'd you get like fans out there so like last minute? Um, that one. I mean, for like the Airbnb one, it was probably like. 20 25 people and it was pretty much like the people i knew in chicago and they brought their friends okay um, cool. but like we did like another show for like 100 people at um the io theater and that's just because they go to people like trust that theater and go there but did you guys do I any like have a bunch of strangers you what? guys do any collabs um yeah, we do a little bit. He would always, like, like Austin would always, um, Austin Antoine is the name of the rapper. Uh, I grew up with him, and I used to rap with him in high school, because I was in high school. Um, and he would always intro me as uh, the next rapper coming to the stage, which would really let the audience down when I had a guitar. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, we would, like, do some songs together, and then a couple of the, like... Like on a Wednesday night, like an off night, uh, we would like headline an open mic. Like people would do the open mic, and then they're like, "Okay, here's your featured acts." Um, and then afterwards, like we'd have a jam with all the people that came to the open mic. Like, oh, so that's pretty chill. Yeah, it was how'd, a good time. Got how'd you meet this? Uh, how'd you meet this underwear folk singer? I met him. Um, he's from Albuquerque or a town near Albuquerque, and. Uh, my friend hit me up and was like, yo, man, um, Ricky's playing this, sh like, this show at Alaska Bar. And I was like, yeah, I'm down to go see that show. But like, I smoked a little weed, and I normally, if I ever smoke, I do not leave my home. And I was like, I'm feeling bold. Sure. <laughs> I um, can do this. Yeah, I, yeah. My friend was with me. He's like, he's like, yeah, look at us. Well, like he's fine, but he's like, look at you. And I was like, yeah, look at me. I'm existing. Um, and I get to this show, and this guy plays uh, Asa. Um, and I'm like, oh, this is rad. And my friend leans over. He's like, hey, man, like he plays just like you, but isn't funny. And I was like, lower your voice. <laughs> um, and then I was like, oh, this was fun. And I'm like, super fucked up. And then the, my friend Ricky is like, hey, man, I spoke to the bar owner, and surprise, you're going to headline. And I was like, that day? no. <laughs> I was like, I'm way too fucked up to go up there. <laughs> Um, but I did anyway, and I just kept talking about how fucked up I was, and I remember thinking, you are playing the wrong chords. Do not look down. If you do, you will stop playing. Um, and then afterwards, this guy Asa came up to me, and he's like, hey man, when you went on stage, I hated it. Um, and then you started playing, and I was like, eh, pretty good. <laughs> uh, uh, so then we, then we just became internet friends after that. And then eventually went on tour together. Yeah, and eventually I was like, yo, man, I'm going on this nationwide thing. Can you help me with the Southwest? And he was like, well, can I get a spot in the car? I was like, fuck yeah, let's do that. Yeah. But I only had met him one time before I agreed to it. <laughs> well. <laughs> Take your chances. Yeah, I figured it'd be okay. It was okay. It was great. Nice. So... Another motif that I found while listening to your music is that you really like the West Wing. I do. What, what's going on with that? What? Have you seen it? The show. Like a while ago. Yeah. You like, should watch it again. <laughs> like my parents would watch it. A bunch. Yeah, watch it with your parents. Yeah. Have a family night. Isn't it just about like politics or something? Yeah, it's about politics, but it's just like beautifully written. It's Sorkin and. Um, Oh, you know, yeah, I like, can, like Yeah, he's great. And this is, like, I think his best work. I mean, it's early work, but, uh, yeah, The West Wing's great. Why is that your go-to show to get drunk and watch? <laughs> um, I think because I know it. I like to play guitar and put on something on the TV 
uh, that I know and don't have to pay attention to too much, but it like fills in the noise. Okay. I respect that. You know? Okay, like, always has random shows on. Yeah. While he's... Yeah, like, The Office is the new equivalent of, like, putting on a record. Oh, yeah, put The Office on in the background. Yeah, yeah that's true. <laughs> Get that cringe factory up. <sighs> oh, my friend isn't coming to eat my soup dumplings. He's got to take a day off. Ugh. Well, I guess it's just me and Brian. Take a day off from eating soup dumplings? This is I like don't know. a regular this thing. This man love him, but he lives in Queens, and I knew he was going to bail. Oh. Do you guys want some soup dumplings? Um. Yeah, they're cool. I don't know, man. I'm not going to be in New York for a while. I mean, I'll freeze them. <laughs> Just like send a drone out here with them. That'd be cool. Yeah, I can. I'll send the drone. I keep forgetting about the drone. Yeah. Oh, don't the you trip have... trap drone. <laughs> you should get one of those. Don't you have like yeah. towels or something with your face on it? Yes, it? I do have. That's my merch. My merch is a dish towel with my face on it. <laughs> Why? It's really fun. I, everybody needs a dish towel. Nobody needs another t shirt. You know, he's not wrong. For real. Thanks. Mean, how do well, they sell? Oh, they, they, I sold out really quickly. Uh, they're five bucks. And like, uh, I would, I would like, like bartenders would buy them and then immediately start using them. And I'm like, that's funny. Um, I got like a message from a stranger being like, Hey, um, I don't know you, but I found a towel with your face on it in my laundry. <laughs> and I was like, ha ha ha. Um, that, yeah, they're funny. Was, People I'm are like, no fucking kidding. way. That's your merch. And I'm like, yeah. How'd you think of that? You just thought it was really funny. Yeah, I just thought it was funny. Most of my things I just think are funny. Yeah, like using... Like, I guess, um, well, I mean, I worked on those food shows and genius. people always had like a dish towel like hanging out their waist side. And I was like, there's... Mm. You could, you know, this could be more fun. Have you gotten them on the, those shows? That'd be pretty funny. I think a, I haven't... No, it hasn't gotten on, but a couple of the Food Network people have my, a towel with my face. Yeah, that'd be some great Still free like advertising. And socks. Do it on all, See? Like, all of it. Yeah, there's there's a, a lot people. There, there's too many fucking t-shirts and pins. There's a lot of room for novelty merch. Maybe that's another revenue stream you can explore. T-shirts like, and pins. No, 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 no. <laughs> like oh. just random, <laughs> random items with your face on it. And make, yeah, it's make a cartoon a, face. It's not like my real face. Make a meme out of it. How do I do that? Um, How do I make a meme? Literally put your face on everything. Yeah. Yeah. Just put light bulbs. Soda yeah. cans. Light bulbs. Pencil I like. I, I couldn't name five memes. I don't know anything about memes. Man, that's that's what's happening in the times. Memes are how we communicate. Yeah. They are memetic engineers. People that are hired okay. to engineer memes. To, to control the population. Or That's like what that. engineers do. <laughs> yep. I'm wondering what they did at that school. I don't know any memes. I don't know any memes or gifs. Got no. Well, gifs are just uh, short, like videos with no yeah. sound. Yeah, but then they're like popular gifs, like oh the horny frog gif or whatever. Oh yeah, there's like the uh, trippy frog guy. You know oh, what I'm talking about? no. Trippy or the uh, trippy red. Maybe he's a toad. Not oh, a trippy uh, red. Hypno, he probably has some memes about him though. Yeah. yeah. Hypno toad. Or something. Hypno -toad. Yeah. yeah. I love that guy. That yeah, bad? I don't even know what that is. Futurama. Damn, you're so old, man. I know. I gotta go. I gotta get with it. Get <laughs> memes. Get with the times, bro. <laughs> do you make memes? Do you do you guys have your own memes? Um, we haven't really made any memes yet. Although we need I, to start. I have photoshopped our faces on some pretty, pretty funny things. Yeah, but we haven't gotten to meme level yet, though. I don't got time for that. Yeah, you, you, you need to hire a meme intern. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like, to, I'd like to see your memes. You make a meme, I will, I will viral your meme. <laughs> Does you that put a... it on a dish towel? 
I mean, uh, it's going to be expensive to make the print, but yeah, I'll do it. <laughs> Hell yeah. Challenge accepted. Uh, like, can I get one towel, please? You just want one? Yes. Okay, great. But you guys have merch? You should have merch. You have pins? Uh, not yet. Um, we were pins. thinking about hats. We were yeah, like the moose hat? For a while. Yeah, the I mean, hat with the moose? The moose, or we have this, like... Salamander. Get fucking moose. Yeah, sell, m- sell meese. Moose. Stuffed fucking moose. There you go. We got meese. Oh, yeah, I would love everybody. <laughs> we, got, we, got, we got moose. We got meese. We could we sell got, like... Uh, chamele- it's a chameleon, right? Or is it a gecko? I don't even know what the hell that thing is. It's a gecko. I think it's a gecko. We got cracking voice geckos. We got meese. We got them all. Is it meese? It's no, plural, it's definitely it's a moose. A, the plural of moose is a meese. It's not. No way. I think it's meese. I, I thought it was like moose, deer yeah. and deer. You know, it's like. Look at that meese. Look at those moose. Look at those moose. moose. <laughs> Let me see meese. them meese. <laughs> Let me see them meese. <laughs> yeah. Get on with your meese self. Hmm. I never. Have you ever seen a moose in real life? They're no. I've seen I, one in Colorado. Yeah. For not to fuck with them. They will mess you up. They will kill you. Yeah, for sure. Damn, getting killed by a bunch of meese. <laughs> <laughs> Put that on your gravestone. Have you guys seen a bear before? No. I almost walked in to like a bear hangout spot though. Where they like have been known to hang all the time. Bears just hanging out. Was it like out. a Seven <laughs> Eleven? <laughs> Where are these bears just hanging just out? Fucking on their couch watching TV, just watching the game. <laughs> hey, Go up? fuck you up, bro. <laughs> no, it's um by this like uh where they put all their garbage in this town in Alaska, and thankfully this lady ran out of her house and was like, "Where the fuck are you going?" Like, That's where all the bears hang out. Bro, don't do that, bro. Basically, bro. Chill, bro. They're like, you're definitely not from here, are you? I'm like, nope. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Taurus. They're like, you, you goddamn got, Taurus. You got parents? They probably want you to. They probably want to see you back home alive. So I would not go over there. Yes. That's a presumptuous ass bear. <laughs> it wasn't the bear. <laughs> yeah, the bear just like you got parents. Go back home. You, <laughs> you don't want none but of they this. They like. Yeah. Sorry, I actually have a bad relationship with my parents. Thanks for bringing that up, Bear. Um, <laughs> I don't. My dad's great. You know that. He's yeah, we, we heard him on the uh, when he called you. Yeah. Brian, can I get another seltzer? Yeah. Thank you. That's nice guy. How do you, right. speaking of your parents, how do your parents feel about your music career? Um, my father uh, uh, loves telling me the Bruce Springsteen quote. It took me 40 years to be an overnight sensation. Um, and I say, thank you, Father. Thank you, Brian. Um, yeah. Okay. All right. Couldn't close the whole door? Okay, great. Um, yeah, my father likes it. He's seen my act once, uh, which is cool. I threw a show called My Father's in Town. Come. <laughs> um, he had a great time. He was just like, uh, like, oh, you're friends with my son, Matthew? And I was like, oh, so nice full name um and my mother passed away um before i kind of started doing this oh sorry to hear that yeah all right um she has a very uh, nice the last song on my last album is all about her and it's the chorus is everything will be fine unless it's not and that's fine too um well, she would have loved yeah. what you're doing right now so. yeah i think so and it's like a nice sing-along and everyone sings along and uh yeah, I think she. I think she'd get down. She always liked my play guitar. So. Yeah, I th- I, when you said your last song, at first I was People thinking crop about. People my shows. That's why. <laughs> first, I was thinking about that bonus song. The. Uh, oh, the ad lib trap banger. Yeah, dude, that shit was hard, yo. <laughs> yo, the guy who recorded my album. Y'all ever played Rocket League? Yeah, I love that game. I'm addicted. Yo, the song that plays. Uh, while they like like on the home screen, yeah, he made that song. Oh no shit! Yeah, who, and like he's just guy? like my homie who fucks with my shit, but like his setup is designed for EDM, 
And then I was like, yo, can you just take all of my ad libs and turn it into a trap banger? He's like, I got you. <laughs> <laughs> um, hey, yeah, what's this guy's funny. name? Hmm? What's this guy's name? Oh, um, his name is uh, Drunk Girl. Drunk Girl? Drunk Girl. And he's a guy? Yeah. False advertising. Run with it, Sean. <laughs> Yeah, you know, people love confusing names. In Cosmo. Yes. <laughs> Why are people Cosmo. mad when they find out I've been that I, that's not my name? You're not Cosmo? You're a fool. Like what do you mean? But you're but you're so Cosmo. I'm like, I know. It'll be fine. Everything'll be fine. I'm not. <laughs> that's actually pretty impressive you've kept that secret for five years. Yeah. People are starting to know it. Like, like they'll get payroll and they're like, "Who the fuck is Matthew?" I'm like, "Oh, that's that's my check. Thank you." Matthew, you're not Matthew. You're Cosmo. You know the well, Matthew the on this away. crew? Yeah, <laughs> must be a mistake. Send it back. Wait, so if you had a name that you could have picked instead, like, I'm guessing it wouldn't be Cosmo. I I probably wouldn't have thought of it. I it's, mean, it's a really good one. I'm like, I, I lucked out. Could have been like Biff or something stupid. Yeah. But, uh, dodge the Biff bullet. You guys know anyone named Biff? No. I thought that died out after Back to the Future. Yeah, I got did to get... people actually name people Biff after that movie? <laughs> no, I think they saw that guy. I know like there. five Biffs. What? Yeah, they're all assholes. I mean... You're like you're cursed to the name at that point. Yeah, really. yeah, you grow into it. I mean, if you're named Biff, you know. <laughs> Is that like a New York thing? You're named Biff. No, I don't know any fucking Biffs. <laughs> <laughs> How you doing? I'm, uh, uh, um, yeah, so Dad, um, I wanted you to meet my boyfriend. Things are getting serious. Uh, this is Biff. Um, <laughs> uh, he's really nervous to meet you. Fucking Biff. He just sounds like a know Biff. jacked... Like asshole. No, you don't know a Biff Teddy. I swear, no, Yo, Teddy, don't, don't put They're that. They're definitely out. all strong, though, right? What's right? Aren't what's they? Biff like? I Tell me about Biff. It's probably like, big. That's what I thought, Biff. Teddy. It was a girl. Yeah. Um, Biffina. Biffina. <laughs> no, I'm sad. I thought I knew a Biff. Nah, Biffs are a legend. I'm gonna try to meet a Biff. We should interview a Biff. Next show, get a bit. Find out. Get a bit. What's it like? We already have the show scheduled. That's yeah, a real. We'll hit. just cancel on him. Get a bit. Hit or miss. <laughs> we should get the douchiest guy possible on our show. That would be interesting. Ooh. Definitely would not vibe. Just walk into a frat. Get house. some clicks. Like you. Be on our show. Find someone on total frat move. Find the most salmon shorts you can find. <laughs> and you'll find your guy. <laughs> <laughs> Salmon. Do you like <laughs> frat color. guys? Huh? Do you like frat guys? Uh, uh, some of them, yes. Um, I uh, I had a weird like like in college. I met one of my friends, and we kind of both looked at each other and realized we were very similar people. But I just went into like the you know music and comedy and like like punkier people, and he was friends with frat people. Um, and so we did like kind of like a trading, uh, swapping lives our senior year. Um, what? I went to, uh, uh, what? You, had, you, tr you swapped lives? You know, like, like I would go <laughs> to his frat parties and then I would take him to like, um, the, like DIY house. Yeah. yeah. Um, the way you're putting that down, it did sound like you guys traded lives. Like some Freaky yeah. Friday shit. Yeah. It was Freaky Friday. Fuck. I forgot. <laughs> we Freaky Friday. <laughs> Free Freaky Friday. <laughs> yeah, one thing I noticed that was strange about uh, frat culture is um, uh, they'll say that they like you to their friend. So, like, I would go out, like, like to their parties and, like, they put their arm around me and they're like, I fucking love this guy, telling somebody else, not me. That's so <laughs> true. <laughs> you know? And I'm like, oh, thanks. Oh, it's like, I'm gonna, oh, yeah, this guy's fucking great. I was like, who are you talking to? <laughs> He's right. <laughs> Right. Uh, I mean, it's better right. than not saying anything. It's a lot better. What? It's, it's always good impressions. Yeah, people always like 
hyping you up to like other people. Yeah. Congratulating them on their choice of person yeah. to bring. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks for having it's all me. All part of the social contract, you know. Yeah, I did. I, 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 last time I saw those those group of guys, um, I was I was doing a show in Maryland, um, or in D.C. and uh, uh, I was staying in my friend's place. This guy Matt, who I freaky Friday'd with, um, and I was like, I was like, Yo, man, you want to hang out? He's like, He's like, Oh, actually, uh, it's our fantasy football draft uh, that day, and I'm like, oh, Okay, cool, man. Like, I'll do my own thing. I'll see you after. And he's like, Oh, actually, uh, uh, the boys want you to MC it. And I was like, oh, Okay. So I emceed like it's like all these like like like, they're very like frat bro dudes, lovely people. Um, And I made a fantasy football draft where uh, there was like a sub draft where I would uh, give you points or take away points depending on the quality of human that you drafted. Um, So it was like whoever took Ben Roethlisberger, I was like, you lose a hundred (laughs) points. Like Adrian Peterson, oop, that's minus fifty. Um, and anytime somebody drafted a red skin, they lost 10 points because changed the name. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they were not happy. It was a DC crowd. <laughs> <laughs> the only one that got plus points was Larry Fitzgerald because he seems like a nice guy. He does. He does. Um, so Matt, we're getting towards the end of the episode, but I want one last thing I want to find out is how did you get kick, kicked out of go-karting? In Mexico. <laughs> um, uh, I went to Mexico City with my friend who is me but crankier and good at writing. Um, he called me up one day and he said, hey man, I got to get out of here. I said, cool, I'm down. Where? And he goes, Mexico. I said, when? He's like, two weeks. I was like, okay, cool. And he bought tickets and we went. Uh, super cheap. Go to Mexico City. I can't recommend it more. Really? Um, but the only thing I wanted to do, like we did like a bunch of like, you know, went to the pyramids and a bunch of shit. And I was like, I want to go to the Six Flags in Mexico City. I thought that was funny. Uh, we get there and it's just, it's just run by Mexican children. Like, like there is nobody <laughs> over the age of 16 in this goddamn place. Uh, and they just have all these huge micheladas. So we're just getting hammered. Um, and then we go uh, onto the go-karts. Um, and you know, like when you go go karting, like the only way, uh, uh, to pass someone is if you like, you know, like bump them and like, yeah. kind of like sneak your way in, uh, as you go around turns. Otherwise you're just going to stay in the same order that you started because the go karts go the same speed. Um, so I'm like bumping my friend who's ahead of me and like, we keep going around and then they like these Mexican children are like screaming at me in Spanish. And I just thought they were telling me to slow down. So I was like, yeah, cool. Um, and then I find an opening, spin out my friend, um, uh, and then they like kick me out and they put me in timeout and like everybody else, like all the families and like, like, uh, these children are like, get to do like four more laps. I have to sit there and then they kick my friend out also. And he like full speed, like, 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 like lead foot slams into the back of me, uh, while we're both in timeout and all these kids are just laughing and we just sit there and he wouldn't even let us out of our carts. Like it's like we're like seat belted and just like uh, it was fun. I mean, I was fucking hammered. I guess that's another thing. You know, you get drunk and you go go karting and you get a story. I guess. Yeah. I mean, it sounds like a great time. It was really, really fun. Um, um, can I tell one more story about Mexico City? Yes. Yes, yeah, please. Yeah. Cool. So the guy I went with, his name's Alex. I used to live with him. He's my best friend. Don't tell him. <laughs> um, and he speaks Spanish, but he doesn't like. But uh, he's like the type of person. He's like, ah, I'm, I don't know. I'm, like, I speak Spanish, but I'm not going to speak Spanish. I'm like, what? Um, so we go to a luchador match, right? Um, and he has these tickets he bought on Will Call. Uh, so we're trying to find the Will Call line. And like, like, like all these people, are like, oh, like, oh, it's aisle, you know, eleven or aisle two, and like we can't fucking find the Will Call line. And then uh, my friend Alex goes up to this guy, and he's like, it's like, hey, man. <sighs> bought these tickets online and uh where's the will call line and this guy's like oh lo siento like no hablo es, like ingles um and then my friend goes nah man you speak english i know you speak english tell me where the will call line is and this guy's like i do speak english how'd you know that <laughs> and he's like you're wearing fucking boat shoes i know you're american yeah <laughs> Yeah. Uh, so we got the luchador match. It was so funny. He was like, "No, fuck you. I know you speak English." 
<laughs> um, oh, also, we have to give a quick shout out to Stella for setting this whole thing up. Yes, I love Stella. I, I think I'm supposed to marry her when if we're both single at 40 or 30. She keeps pushing it back. <laughs> <laughs> she keeps getting closer and she doesn't want to marry me. Maybe if you were mostly funny and just kind of sad. Yeah. Yeah, or maybe if I lived in D.C. Yeah, either or. You know, come through. Yeah. Come visit yeah, the office. Yeah, I'm down. I'm around. I mean, not currently, but I come down to D.C. sometimes to do shows. Ooh, oh yeah. Um, any other shout outs? Where do we find music? Follow you, you know? Oh yeah. Um, uh, I'm on all the streamings, uh, you know, Spotify, all that. Uh, also check out my Instagram, mostly sad, kind of funny. I, I really like it. I make like little lyric videos. Um, I put a lot of work into those. I like them. Yeah, that was a good, I, I was an earnest plug. Yeah, you you know, when, I on, when I went on tour, I played 20 different cities. I plugged my music twice. What? I'm so bad at plugging. That's my music. like how you get any followers. Yeah. Yeah, I'm really bad at all of it. You should just hire someone to do that for you. Yeah, wait, yeah plug I think those I just like videos because those things look hard to make. Yeah, they are hard to make. What do you use? Mm. After Effects? Uh, I use um, no, Final Cut. Final Cut Pro. Yeah, X. Ah, okay. oh, whatever the one. Okay, I see. The one that people don't like. I see, bro. Dude, I just followed you on Instagram, and I gotta say, you look like Pablo Escobar. I'm digging it. Yo, I know. <laughs> one time, okay, I know we're getting close to the end, but okay. what I love telling stories. I was in LA, and I was walking to the Seven Eleven. There was a bunch of kids uh, smoking cigarettes, hanging outside by the Seven Eleven, and this kid goes, "Hey." Fuck you, Pablo Escobar! <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, good burn, man! <laughs> I was so impressed with these teens. Um, yeah, I look like Pablo Escobar. Okay, go, go follow Matt. Go listen to his music. What are you, what are you yeah, doing? Do Still it. Still listening like it. to this. Do it. Right now. Just do it. What the fuck are you doing? Spotify. Apple Music. Just do it. Get the fuck off this shit. Yeah. But uh, thank oh, you, love Matt. This aggression. Get at him. <laughs> thank you, Matt, so much for being on the show. <laughs> oh, um, thank you, thank you. This was very fun. Did you guys have a good time? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a great it was time. Fun. Mm-hmm. Cool. I wish you could see your faces. Um, we'll send you uh, our faces afterwards. Yeah. So you know. Yeah, please. Let's send pictures of our faces. <laughs> 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 That's what Snapchat is, right? <laughs> Basically. Yeah. I know. Kind of got their whole business model down, yeah. My brother just sends yeah. a picture of his face. He doesn't say anything. Well, for you, you can just send uh-huh. those dish towels. It'll be the same. Yeah. True. Yeah. yeah. Like, hey, just imagine this, but a human version of the cartoon. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Teddy. Uh, what do what you got to remind the people to do? And don't, don't make it too loud. Yeah, because this thing is like a very sensitive system. Please, your dearest honors and glories, the Christmas season. Smash that like button. And Hanukkah. And Kwanzaa. And subscribe. And Boxing Day. Good. Don't Boxing Day. Boxing subscribe. Day. Don't forget about Boxing Day. Is that for boxers or for UPS workers? <laughs> Both. I mean, they need That's a the joke I want to end camp. on. Uh... I thought that was a <laughs> Is that Canadian holiday? It is. They're all UPS What's drivers. it for? I don't know, man. Punching people. Damn. Y'all talking about holidays, you even got no facts. Damn, you caught us. I know holiday you scientist. Yo, send me a picture of your face and a bunch of info about Boxing Day. Okay, we will do. <laughs> Thank Hell you, yeah. Matt. Thank you. I'll send Thanks you some soup you. dumplings. Yep. Yeah, enjoy, <laughs> enjoy those. Ryan's going to the kitchen for like a fucking hour. I don't even know what he's doing. <laughs> <laughs> probably ate all your soup the kitchen dumplings. kitchen might be on fire. <laughs> Dang. Smells good, though. Right, enjoy your <laughs> dumplings, man. Thank you. This was lovely. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Blue kiss.